why it is at these launches, they always keep the best stuff till last. The Triumph 800 XC is the latest dual sports adventure bike to enter the market. At the heart of this bike is a 799cc liquid cooled double overhead cam inline three cylinder power plant with multi-point sequential electronic fuel injection. The engine sits within a tubular steel trellis frame with a cast aluminium alloy swing arm. Up front is a shallow 45mm upside down forks providing 220mm of travel and at the rear a shower monoshock with an adjustable preload and rebound dampening with 215mm of travel. The Tiger has twin 308mm floating discs with Nissan calipers up front and a single 250mm disc at the rear. The fuel tank has a capacity of 19 litres and a wet weight of 215 kilos. Triumph had opted for unpainted plastic for the radiator cowl, keeping the cost of replacement plastics down. On the flight deck, the Tiger has simple controls and a straightforward analogue taco and digital instruments, including a shift indicator. The standard seat is adjustable, which is a bonus for riders of all sizes. There are a whole range of options available for the Tiger XC from Triumph, including a taller screen and an arrow performance pipe. All our test bikes were fitted with a bash plate, heated grips which came in handy each morning, headlight protectors and crash bars. Handguards are standard equipment. Despite its road-like appearance, the Tiger 800 XC performs very well off-road. As you would expect, it enjoys the open dirt roads, but when the trail gets technical, it handles it with ease and isn't scared of a little air on erosion humps. Its smooth power delivery can give you plenty of pace through the bush and will have the back wheel braking loose. However, it can catch you out on the corners, but the brakes have great feel, allowing you to gather it up in time. So has the Triumph Tiger 800 XC got what it takes to make an impression on the dual sports market? Clubby seems to think so. Yep, we do get some hard times in the office, that's for sure. This has been one of them. We're down here, deep in adventure bike riding country, New South Wales, South Coast, just wrapping up two and a half days for the national media launch of the new entry into the adventure bike market. The best of British, it's a new Triumph for us. The Tiger 800 XC. They've actually developed two models for the new, their, uh, their new entry into the adventure market. A softer, lower, more road oriented model. And then this one, the one we've been riding, the XC. Larger 21 inch front wheel, more off-road ready fitments. Really impressive package. Triumph Australia, done a top job with the launch. But the nuts and bolts of it all is how impressed we've been with the bike. What do you reckon, Russ? Well, this bike has been a real surprise. The engine doesn't seem to have the grunt that other bikes do, but it's just so smooth and it does have the power. And we attacked some snotty stuff yesterday and it had no problem at all. And it's comfortable. Uh, the ergonomics are okay. I found it a bit of a stretch reaching for the handlebars, but that's just me. And uh, no, it's, it's a really great package and it's the sort of bike you can do long Ks on. Absolutely. And big, big value for money is the other factor I feel, Lance. Tick over 16 grand for this model. It's, uh, it's been developed for hardcore adventure use as we've done in the last two and a half days. Like Lance said, real punchy performance, plenty of motor to play with, loves to revs, 
big strong steel frame, heck of a good strong rear subframe, maybe rides a little bit low on the undercarriage so make sure you bash plate it up, that sort of thing, keep some of those bits and pieces out of the rocks, but yeah, for a first up effort, four years in development, the guys at Triumph, they're to be credited, aren't they? Oh, that's for sure. So if you're looking for something in the 800cc uh, category, then you definitely have to have a ride of this before you buy. Check it out. Yeah, I'm with you, Russ. Get a look at it. Have a go at it, guys. Triumph Tiger 800XC. You can read Clubby's report on the Triumph Tiger XC in issue 36 of Trail Zone magazine. And check out Russ's impression in the new bike section of offroadexplorer.com.